A new outdoor pop-up park is now open in Brandon to give the city's more vulnerable population a place to rest and reprieve. It's a pilot project by the city of Brandon to help address the concerns of people congregating downtown. For more, we've reached Sa Shannon Saltarelli, the city of Brandon's community housing and wellness coordinator. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me here. So first, give me a sense of what this space is and what it looks like. So the space is a pilot, uh, which means it is uh, really in its infant stages of development. It's something we were able to kind of piece together uh, quickly in um, the response to the need initially for having additional washrooms available downtown. Uh, we do have one public park downtown that does have public access washrooms. They are not open 24 hours a day. And so you know, one of the needs out of our community has been to have access to additional washrooms. So um, a great way to pilot that is just to um, insert some portable washrooms temporarily, see how it's received. And then in addition to having the portable washrooms there, um, we added in some picnic tables as, as a place for people to be able to congregate and, and visit uh, in the downtown area. What drove the need for this space? So again, the issue with um, having access to washrooms was one of the key elements. Um, also in our downtown area, we don't have a lot of places for people to sit, uh, congregate, um, visit during the day. And it's not just our, our population that's experiencing homelessness that does you know, require a place to sit and visit. Um, so you know, people were spending time on steps of businesses or, you know, sitting in parking lots or sitting in back lanes and in a, in a really undignified, uh, uncomfortable way. So, you know, we wanted to create a space for them to be able to, you know, get off the ground and, and have a couple tables they can sit at and, and visit. Why was the location for this pop-up park important, uh, particularly where it is, I guess, in the downtown? Well, there's a couple of factors. Um, I do, you know, believe in meeting people where they're at. Uh, the location is a, an area of downtown that is often frequented by the vulnerable population. So it's an area that is already being utilized. Um, to be completely transparent, the city of Brandon doesn't own a lot of property downtown. And so that location happens to be a small section of land that the city owns that's sandwiched in between properties that are privately owned. And so we did have access to that small piece of property where we had the ability to, to utilize it in, uh, in a different way than it was being utilized, which was uh, not at all, <laughs> to be honest. So we were able to try and uh, put something more meaningful in a, in a space that wasn't currently being used. I mean, we're early days here. The, the park just sort of opened up here. But what has the reception been like so far from people who are congregating downtown? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it, it is new and it has been had some mixed reviews and, you know, we, we are still trying to fill in some of the gaps with, you know, getting the garbage bin in place um, and, and, and just addressing a few other things. And there is a, a long term vision that we definitely want to see. But you know, to answer your question, a um, bit of a mixed review with concerns around safety, uh, misuse mm -hmm. of the space. These are risks that we were aware of. Um, and uh, on the flip side, there's been some positive response from both the vulnerable population. Um, you know, thankful to have another space to be um, and have access to the washrooms. Um, some of the business community has been um, also positive um, around creating another space. Again, with only having one, you know, decent sized public park in the downtown area, you know, there is a need to create more space for people to be. Well, I certainly hope that this uh, idea takes off and, and we see this sort of expanding in the future. Uh, Shannon, thank you for uh, joining me tonight. Thank you again.